I'm proud to, to bring to the microphone right now. He's going to be live during the show that we're going to watch on ESPNU. But for some quick comments from the 2011 soon-to-be CAA Coach of the Year and Eddie Robinson National Coach of the Year and anybody that has a brain spoke, Rob Ambrose. Last night we pulled in, I was like, speech, speech, speech. I'm like, I'm not giving any speeches. We ain't done yet. Speeches come at the end. So for all the people who have been here, who have done this, the transition to this campus goes way back beyond most of us that have been here. To one building, to no football, to Division Three football on one field with no stands in Carl's and Phil's time to a stadium that had a crown where if you stood on one side and looked at the opposing team, you could only see their heads because the hill was so big. <laughs> to the Division II teams that went to the playoffs and moved up, to the Division I AA teams, to the guys who had the scholarships taken away, to the guys that were in the stadium and the fans for the STF days, save Towson football. We almost lost this one. For every person who ever crossed this campus, this title, this frustrating long wait for a title, is for you. I'd like to thank you very much for everything you've done for us. Our players are different because of you. Damn, is it great to be a Tiger. Hey. We've got about 30 some seconds before they start talking about who it is we're going to play, and I promise. This is the best headache I've ever had in my life. It's having the band, wow, it's awesome. So my players are going, no, coach, louder, no, but less. I expect everybody to be there, and we can have a lot, I'll be a lot more flowery in my conversation when this thing is all said and done, but we ain't done yet, baby, not even close. Okay, a reminder, we have championship hats and t-shirts over in the bookstore. Pay attention right here. Enjoy this. This is one of your lifetime moments coming up. Towson Lehigh is a second round match. Towson Lehigh has lost four years total. They won one game last year. How have they pulled this off this tournament? Well, they found an offense, and that's been the key. Finding an offense that can really produce a sensation. Terrence wins. 27 touchdowns, not passing, rushing, 27 touchdowns, 1,200 yards. They found a way to win the close game. Rob Ambrose did a fantastic job. Remarkable turnaround there. What a great story it is, what Towson has been able to do as we now welcome in the head coach of the Tigers, Rob Ambrose. An eight win improvement from a year ago. I can only imagine. What are you feeling for your program right now? It's a tremendously exciting, humbling, proud feeling that uh, we've had the ability as an institution to go from Division Three and make the playoffs to Division Two and make the playoffs, and now to finally do it at this level against such great competition is truly, truly amazing. I could not be more happy for our institution, our students, our players, our staff. It's awesome. Coach, Jay Walker was just talking about the improvement on offense. To what do you uh, owe the, 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 the turnaround here, the eight-win turnaround from a year ago? Incredibly hard work by every human being involved. From, from the first-year scouting guy to me, to the administration, to the students, to the band, everybody has and we have just worked tirelessly. We, with crazy hours, a lot of hope, a lot of pride, a lot of love, and... <laughs> Everything is great about the game of football. 
is now on our campus. It's just perfect. Coach, you have a freshman running back by the name of Terrence West who has 27. What should we all do about this year? That he's only a freshman. <laughs> that uh, if you ask Terrence, the, the great thing about him is that he'll be a sophomore, and some of the mistakes that he's made are just going to go away. And along with that stable of great running backs and a young offensive line, the future's very bright for that running game. Uh, Rob Ambrose, head coach of Towson, and coach, congratulations on getting in. <laughs> It is, it is a remarkable story. You don't see these much in college football at any level. An eight-win turnaround, and you love the excitement in his voice. This is It's great to talk to him. This is what excites everybody about yeah. college football, but you talk about that matchup, not so fast. They've got to be careful. They're going against arguably the hottest quarterback in the FCS playoffs right now, and that's Chris Lum, the quarterback for Lehigh. He's got over 3,700 yards passing, 31-plus touchdowns. Look out. It's a scary matchup. Tough way to get into the playoffs. Okay. Just heard the uh, announcer say that we're the uh, home team. December 3rd, we will get a game time to you. Now, we also have a home men's basketball, our CAA opener against George Mason that day. Our hope is that we're going to have a 3.30 football game that will empty right out after we beat Lehigh and end their hot season. That's funny. How does, how does team out there? I think our defense got a little attitude about that, now, don't you? Okay, so here's what we got going. December 3rd, home game, time to be announced, but the tickets are on sale now over here at the ticket office. Okay, this is an NCAA-owned event. This is why it's being staged on our campus. It is not our home game, but we've worked hard with the NCAA to make sure that all student tickets are only $5. Now, this will be our home game in the playoffs. We need upsets now. We need upsets to be able to stay at home, okay? So continue to root for Maine, okay? Root for Maine to beat Appalachian State, okay? We'll take care of business. We get a nice weekend off. It's going to be a great time to be a Tiger right here. You, everybody going to be at that game? Okay. Can everybody bring five friends? Okay. Okay. Now I want you to hear from the head coach. He's going to give you a little pep talk right here. Go have a safe weekend, but right now, undivided attention to the National Coach of the Year, Rob Ambrose. Well, there are a few chances, very few chances left in the world where you can make history. And part of our recruiting spiel to other players and some of the guys in this room is you can go somewhere else and be a part of their history, or you can come here and make it. And for every student that's not an athlete in this room, you are now a part of it forever. There are building blocks in this thing, and they got your name on it. That's never going away. And 50 years from now, you will come back, and this will still be your institution. But it will definitely be your institution, because your name is on it somewhere in here. There's a piece of history that everybody in this room is now a part of, it's never gone away. So I'm going to ask you a question so we can end this thing and get back to work. Take some aspirin. <laughs> Why are we here? Win. Why are we here? Win. Why are we here? Win. I hate Leon. <laughs> you guys have a great day. Make sure have an awesome Thanksgiving. Be careful. Be smart. We'll see you next week.